Welcome to Watch Me Go Broke. Today's review is of a watch that's been reviewed to death, and I know what you're thinking. I should skip this video, but hear me out. I'm not going to show you just a regular Casio Duro. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't do anything regular on this show. In fact, just like my vowels, the two Casio Duro mods I'm about to show you are irregular. Let's awkwardly bend over a table and take a look. Okay, guys, well, I did fib a little bit in the intro. I'm actually going to show you three Casio Duro mods today. But first things first, on my wrist is my SKX 007 on a Bell Hamel rubber strap. Before I show you the three mods today, here is a photo of the Duro in its virginal state, untouched by man, just for reference. This is going to be the first Casio Duro mod that I show you today, and can you guys spot what I modded on this one? If you said the bezel, you would be very, very incorrect. But before I tell you what I modded, let's go over some specs of the watch just so everybody's on the same page. This is going to be a 44 millimeter case, a thickness of 12 and a half millimeters. It's got 22 millimeter lugs and a lug to lug of 49 millimeters. 200 meters of water resistance, screw down crown, screw down case back. Pretty good looking case back with the Casio Marlin on there. Uh, the model number is MDV 106. It's powered by a Japanese Miyota 2115 movement. I know that because I had to crack the case back to change what I changed on this watch. 200 meters of water resistance and 120 click unidirectional bezel. This bezel action is really, really good in my opinion for uh, a watch as cheap as this. There's going to be just about no back play at all. And everything lines up as it should. Pricing, you can pick these up at Walmart. I think they're around $65. But the best pricing that I have found is on Amazon. And currently, right now, as of the time of this review, it is $44. That is the cheapest that I've seen it. Uh, I definitely recommend picking up one of these for sure at that price. You will not be disappointed. On the dial, uh, the indices are actually not applied, even though they look applied. Uh, if you ever pop the case back on one of these, you're going to see that they're actually pressed into the back of the dial. I wish I had a photo that I could show you, which is a very interesting design. I had not seen that prior to uh, opening this one up. You've got uh, Casio on the dial just below the 12 o'clock marker and WR200M and the Marlin just above the 6. Of course, probably all of you guys have this watch out there, so I'm just telling you stuff you already know. The uh, rubber strap, or it kind of almost feels like resin. I'm not sure if it's rubber. It's actually incredibly comfortable. I actually slept in this last night, this watch. Uh, didn't have any problems. So comfortable. Really, really like the strap. Uh, a lot of lug holes. It's going to fit uh, very large wrists. I think I go down to about the five here on my seven and a quarter. So smaller wrists, you still got uh, a bunch of adjustments you can make. Uh, buckle hardware, it's uh, pretty decent for the price, certainly with a uh, resin or rubber keeper right there, but very comfortable strap. All right, so you eagle eye viewers probably already noticed what I modded on this one. It is the seconds hand. I was not a fan of the stock seconds hand on the Duro. Uh, I didn't really like the red. Uh, I thought there was too much red and the seconds hand was a, a bit short uh, for the dial. So on this particular model, I just modded the seconds hand. Uh, it is a Seamaster Planet Ocean style uh, quartz second hand uh, that I was able to pick up. Uh, I did have to cut it a little bit down. It was a little bit too long for this particular watch and dial. Uh, so I cut the yellow or the orange tip a little bit. You can kind of see where, where it's a little rough. This is an extremely bright light. You can't really tell uh, on the watch when uh, it is just in regular normal working conditions. But all in all, this is really the only thing I want to do to this particular model. Uh, I think the uh, orange on the seconds just kind of makes the, the watch pop a little bit more. And you're not really limited in color choices as you would be with a red seconds hand. So on to the next. 
So this is the second Casio Duro I'm going to show you today. I'm gonna to save the most interesting one for last for sure. Can you tell what I modded on this one? That is correct. I modded the bezel insert and I have put it on a strap code uh, president bracelet. Strap code bracelets do fit the Casio Duro. You just have to bend the spring bars a little bit to get them to fit but I have been very successful in fitting this one. Now this bezel insert, uh, you can get pretty much any 45.5 millimeter bezel insert that is made for the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean. Uh, I don't know why they fit, but they fit perfectly. As you can see, uh, there's nothing, no gaps, no discrepancies. It fits in there absolutely perfect. I picked up this green one because I thought it would play well off the red seconds hand. But the issue that I have with this mod, as cool as this looks, it just screams Christmas to me. And, um, I, you know, it's not something that I would really wear throughout the year. So I, I may mod this with a different color bezel insert. Or maybe I'll just change the second hand out again uh, with something else. And, and maybe that'll cure the Christmas time spirit that comes off this watch but i did wear it on christmas eve and i enjoyed it and it, it felt uh, really nice uh, to have a watch that would put you in the christmas spirit but this is the only thing i modded on this one it is the same uh same everything as the first watch i showed you uh i did not break the case back on this one so this one should still be the 200 meters of water resistance and i picked this bezel insert up off of eBay. If you just search 45.5 millimeter uh, Seamaster Planet Ocean bezel inserts, uh, you should be able to find a, a variety of colorways. Uh, they've got blue, orange, green, of course the black traditional. Um, that may be it. They, there may be a red one out there. That would, that would be a great, uh, great to get a red one for this. And this is the piece that is a magnifique, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this is my first attempt at modding this watch. Uh, this is gonna be, again, a aluminum Omega Planet Ocean bezel insert uh, that I picked up off of eBay, and I did make an attempt to ghost it. Now, let me just keep this story fairly short. I originally wanted to uh, bleach and ghost the original bezel on this Casio Duro, so I first tried to pry the bezel off. Could not do it. Uh, for some reason, I don't know if it was the mood I was in or I don't know, but I couldn't get the bezel off. So I figured, well, the watch is so cheap. I'm just going to put the entire watch in bleach and just, you know, ghost the bezel that way. And if it doesn't work, pff, who cares? It's such a cheap watch. I'll just get another one. I soaked this thing in straight bleach. I did not dilute the bleach, which is stupid, but I did not dilute the bleach and I soaked it in the in the bleach for six hours in the sun bright sunshine outside in the middle of summer six hours in bleach the only reason the bezel started to uh ghost and i'm talking about the original bezel that was on this watch not not this one the original bezel which is uh this original bezel here the only reason this thing started to ghost is because I accidentally chipped the bezel when I was trying to remove it, uh, the bezel insert, and so the bleach started eating away at that. The rest of the bezel did not ghost. It was still in perfect condition after six hours in straight bleach. Do I recommend doing that? No, I do not. Um, the only thing that kind of got messed up a little bit is the mineral, mineral crystal because I had it sitting in there sideways because I was trying to uh, ghost a certain part. And I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, you can see there's a line right there where the where it was sitting in the bleach and half of it was out. So that, that kind of messed up the uh, mineral crystal there a little bit. And, of course, I wear this decently. There's some scratches on there of some things I was trying to do. Uh, the watch is fairly scratched up. So after six hours of doing that, I was unsuccessful. But I think it did loosen the... Uh, the uh, adhesive that was holding the bezel insert. So I was able to kind of uh, pry it up at that point. Then I just decided to ghost this bezel by itself. And as you can see, 
it looks really cool, but there are some things that I did that I screwed up. First of all, I don't think you ever want to ghost something in complete straight bleach because the ghosting happens so fast, it's very difficult to control. Not only that, uh, don't put your grubby little hands on it uh, because as you can see, uh, those are my fingerprints on there, which actually kind of gives it a cool look in my opinion, but it is very noticeable that it is my fingerprints on there. So certainly I would say, let that ghosting happen gradually. If it's something that you're going to do, just make sure you uh, do, I think it's equal parts water and bleach and just let it sit in there. You can watch it. And over time you'll see it ghost. I was just very impatient because I'd already struggled so much. And this thing is a tank. Now, after I had soaked this in bleach for six hours, I mean, I still did everything water resistant with it. I showered with it. I would work out with it. Uh, I have not had an issue at all with the water resistance uh, breaking, uh, as far as I know. It still looks great. Like I said, scratches on the mineral crystal, scratches on the case, because I, I do use this pretty frequently. But I found this strap, and this strap is really, really awesome. It's a Blue Shark NATO that you can find on bluesharkstraps.com. Uh, I thought the colorway just worked really well with this uh, Frankenstein-y ghosted bezel. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys like this bezel. Maybe you don't. I think it looks cool. Uh, minus the fingerprints, I certainly would like to possibly do this over. But since this is my first uh, version of it, I may just get another Duro and uh, go to town on it. So there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, uh, 44 millimeters, 49 lug to lug. It is quite large, but I will do a little fashion show for you. This is the first one and my personal favorite. And there is the Christmas kid. Uh, the green really does look fantastic and it plays well with the red seconds hand. Um, scrap, strap code bracelet. Uh, you just can't beat that deal. And this one is closest to the one that's original. And I forgot to mention that Bill Gates actually wears this watch in an unmodded state. He wears it on this strap. Uh, so in my opinion, if it's good enough for Bill Gates, it's good enough for you and me. Well, there you go, a couple of Casio Duro mods. I think it's a great watch, especially if you're just starting out in watch collecting. And for the money, it really can't be beat. I recommend picking up one or two or seven so until next time, just a reminder to keep your grubby little hands off of stuff. You never know when you're going to leave behind an incriminating fingerprint.